I think I don't know to be fair if being destructive productive or not I just kind of like the new twitch layout from a stream dashboard thing yeah whatever it does follow guidelines damn it dumbass twitch silly twitch <laughs> silly old twitch let's do the bunker stuff because Turns out there's only three quests in the game I've never actually done, and this is one of them. Don't know what the bunker requires me to actually do, but it's a bunk. It's called the bunker. Um. Oh, I know it's play. Oh, is this the same area from where the? Wait, this this is isn't it? This is the same area. This is gonna be the same area, man. Where there is a volatile. The volatile hunt for Bolzac mission, what it's called. And see, we lost some health on I was getting there because, um, for some reason, the game didn't register from where we quit off last night. It was just before we accepted some other quest for some other bloke, and it was very bizarre. Very bizarre. Okay, duelist and the pouch. Uh, uh um hello yes what is it are you mr thabit Erdl, the town clerk that was my title however all city authority has been dissolved by the gre and the federal government my title does not exist anymore and therefore i am no longer required or allowed to provide any services to you or anyone else in conclusion, goodbye. Not so fast, Mr. Ertl. The dissolution order requires all local officials to be at the service of the GRE and the Provisional Authority as needed. Are you with the GRE? I'm looking for information about a large supply cache hidden somewhere in the city. Ah, you mean the bunker? Well, if you wish to take possession of it, you'll have to lodge a 201 needs of agency form, JP-401 details of operation form, also a 606 compulsion of special authority form, Oh, and uh, 302B, Declaration of Emergency Functions for. That last one has a three-day turnaround in the best of circumstances, which these are certainly not. I need it now. Well, then I suggest you employ the traditional method of accelerating the government process. Which is what? Bribery, of course. I need the official seal of the mayor embossing stamp. The mayor was last seen at the hotel. Find his room, and you should find the seal. Yes, we gotta go find who is a burger. Okay, this is a bar and grill. This doesn't look much like a grill. It looks more like not a grill. I just love doing that when you just got the backs turned to me. It's like the greatest thing ever that is. I love just kicking zombies in right in the face like that. Get destroyed, kid. Is there any quarantine zone there or not? I can't tell if that's new or not. It's not on the map, so I think it might be new. So I do know you got to do all the quarantine zones as well because that goes towards my 100% Magic. I mean, my my pro. I mean, well, I want to do hundred percent anyway. I would do the challenges, but I don't really like much. I prefer doing actual, like, I don't know. I just, I just don't like the challenges much. Okay, because that means I'd have to look all the Bozak stuff. Means I'd have to look Bozak hard and. I don't like Bo's Accord. Never will. Never have liked it. Bo's Accord annoys me. 
Okay, we're finding very hard lock, lock chests around now. Okay, it's around there, I think. I'm not sure. No. Yeah. Yes, game. Yes. 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 No. No. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come, come on. Come on. Come, come on, game. Come on. Don't do this to me. Come on, Chief. Don't do this to me. Chief said you got to give me your content. So just, so just open the heck up. I'm about to yeet, I'm about to yeet my controller of the TV if it's not open this time. Okay, so threats of yeeting my controller, open it. There's just a couple of pouches in it. Why is it even is in those pouches? Look, I'm genuinely curious. It looks just like drugs or is it jewels and stuff? Or is it a mix of both? Oh boy, here's the hotel. Time to find the mayor's editorial thing. I can't just kill the guy and get the like the area like told me like you know like a normal person would. Right, I mean, wait, would killing him even actually do anything? Give me a second. Don't light. Yeah, okay, yeah, one light, whatever, don't light. Negan plus part nine, category don't light, yep. Done. I don't know I have a thing, I've already been in this hotel before, like... Look, I can't just shake that thing, I've been here somewhere before. Or somewhere that looked like it before. Turn. Thank you, Twitch, for actually updating the fact I'm playing Dying Lloyd. Thank you, Twitch. Just takes five hours for you to actually register this stuff. I, know, I like the more clean look of it because everything's like in one place. Now, like my previews, uh, I can just see chat very being awkward. Now, like quick actions. Like stream info is now a lot easier to edit on the fly because it's just they're having to close like chat or something. But but the fact it seems to take longer is just goddamn annoying. Look, look just you know. Look, let me update the fucking plane dying light. Oh yeah. Oops, that's a whoopsie moment. When you accidentally knock over a shelf, a shelving unit, for laughs. <sighs> Through the hole in the wall we go. Okay, there must have been another runner who's now long since deceased and left this world. And there's lockpicks. Don't make me lockpick stuff, please. Please, game, don't make me do lockpicking again. Okay, inventory full. What? Hello, Vival. Goodbye, Vival.
Okay, there's a lot of lockpicks here. See, okay, we got a lockpick something, or the game's just <sighs> being very generous with some of the drops today. Okay. That's a lot of oils, or was. Wait, is that a search cone? Oh god, there's a volatile, isn't there? Here's a volatile. That's definitely a volatile search cone. That's definitely a volatile, or is a nest or something in here? I don't know. Yeah, it's down there. So that that revival down. Imagine you look locked in a bathroom and turn into a zombie and then like you just smash out and realise there's nobody there and you just get like, your neck broken by some random ass boy who's come here just to basically find a mayor seal because they want to go to a bunker because that they were apparently told. If that was the mayor I'm gonna laugh because that was just great. It's like the what that's like the it's probably where they've Top 10 worst ways to go out. I have got a theory about volatiles or about how they're made. Like, every time I've seen them, they're like, there's like gore pits, like, of like corpses around. So I have a feeling it's to do with gore pits and like the corpses and stuff and they're like putting the body parts back together there's like a kind of very messed up thing I, I could be entirely wrong I don't know about that but you know it just feels right like that would actually be real yep that's definitely volatile He's coming to get the hell out of here because I do not feel like messing with a load of zombies. I'm kind of surprised that one hasn't broken. Go to sector zero. Woohoo! We're ready, we're willing. About to probably get yeeted on by someone. How is that? There's a quest marker. Oh, turn on the valve near the hotel. Oh, I'm on you, chill. Chill out, oh yeah. 
I really don't want to do what, not what it's called, Fountain, just a second. I want to do the bunker first because I haven't actually done this. I've done the fountain before because it comes up under your stats and what you've done and what quests I have. And it tells you what you've completed, like on like a past playthrough, just in gem what you've completed. Oh, fucking hell. Yeah! Okay then, I'm back. Uh, okay, no, yes, yes, yes. Fucking. This is P me. Choose a camouflage ability again because I need the camouflage so I can actually Oh my god, it's gonna be there, isn't it? It's Is in here? That's a waste of my time. But again, I don't really know what I was expecting out of it. There's one area I'm not really sure about, it's Old Town, because some of these objectives I cannot actually remember how the hell I even got to them. Um oh cool, medkit. And first seven dollars. Okay, there's nothing down there for us. Is there anything over here for us here? Yeah, there's another police van, I believe. Yes, please. I really wish elemental weapons didn't harm you as well. If you go to loot something, you've killed the one. That noise me to no end. I'll have with more zombie guts. I don't know why lot picking just aggravates me at times. Like this just genuinely does just pee me off. Yes.
Holy bloody tits. But I thought it would have been something amazing there. Uh, there really wasn't. I mean, I don't get how the... Okay, move out way, zombies, please. I don't get how the... How you even actually get to the Val for the hotel. Unless it's like over this way. Oh, it's over this way, isn't it? Uh, I think, I'm not sure. Hey, farm any going here anyway. Then I picked up the voice recordings for. Damn it, there's a fucking bomber down there, wasn't there? No, I'm gonna, no, I'm gonna have vibes on my ass. Have a nice fall, mate. Rest in peace, mate. Look, just rip. RIP, my mans. Oh boy, there's a Voivol on the rooftop already waiting for me. Oh, it's a toad, isn't it? Where is he? Where the hell are you, mate? Where are you going? Where are you going, fool? Get back here. I just wanted to jab you in the legs a couple of times with my, with my, with my, with my machete. Never change zombies, please never do. Because if it comes down to it and you learn how to scale roofs properly, I'll be damned. Uh, the fuck? Where the. I need first aid, mate. Give me get open your box. Ah, wonderful! I promise to abuse this seal to the fullest extent of my corruption, which is considerable. Tell me about the supply cache. It was a necessary precaution. Old Town supports a very wealthy class of citizens. They knew the slum districts would exhaust their meager supplies, and that the wretched poor would then invade us like a wave of locusts. So you locked it up. The bunker is under the town hall. I can monitor your progress on the city services band. Radio me if you need some paperwork from the office of the mayor.
I'll be generating reams of it. I have about zero mercy for Royce's bloody goons. They're absolute assholes. What hey, what hey? Okay, how many blue lock pussy can give me game? Look, like, how many is there? D does everyone in like old town just like somehow know how to make these things? Oh boy, lock picking the trash as well. Oh boy, more of them. Hey, yeah, I still need that for something else, probably. I think I need that for something else, don't I? I think I need it for. Holy hell, I'm a kick game. How many times do I have to like, kick this guy in? This poor, got, this poor man's head in before he dies. Hey, metal parts. We have how many metal parts? Look, 362 of them. I have no idea where that bomber even came from and I'm not even gonna try and guess where he came from. My best guess is probably already in here beforehand. I'm not sure. Probably was.
Okay, is that looking on like under the floor? Is it like actually like under like on like a lower level kind of floor deal? Can we actually go up another floor? Wait, can we actually go up like? Oh, there's nothing up there. I was honestly kind of hoping there'd have been like a load of these around here. I gotta go pick the lock now. I mean, this is a town hall, it's pretty dull to be fair. Oh, yeah, now we're getting into what I want to see a bun an actual bunker. Thabit, are you listening? Oh, if you're in the town hall, could you finish me some stationery from the city council president's chambers? Where's the pass card to enter the bunker? Okay, I'm gonna go to hell in. Why hasn't he opened the bunker himself? Regretfully, the Captain Halim's interest in material things is no more. He frequently shambles around K Street with several other former police officers. Perhaps they have some vague recollection of their fraternity. Okay, I'm gonna go actually go see. Um, What's his face on? No, what's his face? That guy's on about those. What are those guys? The boys. Oh, apparently the PS4 is launching next holiday. So does that mean like, when it says next holiday, I don't understand what I mean by that. Does that mean like, as in, wait, when's the next holiday we're having? Christmas morning, yeah. So they're saying it's this Christmas or is it next Christmas? Because when I say holiday, that mean like a seasonal event. Because I know some companies say holiday sale and it'd be like, a seasonal event or some shit, it'd be like, I don't know. It'll be like, you know. You know, like, I don't know, Thanksgiving or some shit. You know, I don't know. I don't know any other, I don't you know any American holidays. But you know what I mean, like. That I mean, like, it'd be like, the holiday after, like, Halloween or some shit. Or that I mean, like, as in, like, it's, like, Novemberish time 2020 because saying next hard is kind of like really weird, especially when they haven't given a year because it's like it's like, are you talking about 2020 or 2019? Sony, oh, oh, oh god, is it demolisher? Holy god. Sweet, sweet lord, sweet, sweet lord, I, I'm not ready for that, I, I thought it was like gonna be like a couple of boys, a couple of his boys, you know, not, not a bloody SWAT team. Rip her, rip that woman's arm. 
Rest in peace, her arm. Goodbye. I'm gonna open this. Please have something good in it. Please. Look, please just have something good. Okay, we're getting close because it's actually starting to turn now. Please have something good. I don't know, man. Like, in the slums, I've found more computers and TVs in the slums than I have in Old Town so far. So it's kind of making me think. Is the slums really a slum, or is it just like. Just the place where they haven't got, like, good housing, but they've got, like, somehow computers? And, of course, it was on the big dude. I sure made him Sergeant Death Row, to be fair, because, you know, w w why the hell not? Might as well have. What's something that Sergeant Death Row is in? The thing you meet at the end of the Haram prison heist. And, and I ain't doing, ever, ever doing that again. I've done it once. And that's it. You know, come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, come on, game. Gums, give me a King Mod Alice, please. When I'll, when I'll stop picking vans forever and stealing stuff. <sighs> no more zombies around us at least. I don't think, yeah. Now, if we need a bolt, we could just grapple up, can't we? Because there's a safe zone up there. Yeah, there is. It's River University one, I think. Yes. Yes. No. I believe it be near the university one. Where's it about? Was it there or something? It was there, wasn't it? Yeah. God damn it! I hate how fully lock picking is. Oh, 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 okay, that's a legendary. We're definitely taking that. Over. That. Goodbye, Dark Machete. Hello, Zebra Machete. Crane, how hard is it to climb a bloody police van, mate? I'm just as a camera wore off. I'd laugh if, like, there's a chance he just, like, lands on, like, rusty knives or something and just gets, like, tetanus or something, or T- Wait, can you TB off rusty knives? Or is it tetanus I'm thinking of? I know there's some disease to do with, like, rusty metal you can get off of, off stuff you get jabbed by it. Oh, so I finally looked at that thing about the PS5 just because, you know, I, I was trying to fight that dude. So I thought, you know, I'd look at it while it launched and gone, yeah, I was right, it's um, tw holidays 2020, not holidays 2019. Uh, apparently it's gonna have ray tracing support hardware. I, I don't know too much about PC game, but I know ray tracing is expensive. By order of the mayor, the entire Give me a second, mate. Uh, you get an SSD. Oh boy, Sony, sounds like you just want me to buy a PC at this point. Some adaptive trigger ball. Uh, optical disc, 100 gigabyte. Uh, optical drive. It's a 4K Blu ray player, basically. Okay, and there's better bachelor from the controller. Oh, they're changing the UI again. Oh, god damn it, Sony. Don't make and do not make PS3 UI return. If they go back to the design like that, I'm gonna be really vexed because I hate the PS3 UI. 
Oh boy, Blue Point. They're making a PS5 title. You know, God made Shadow of Colossus. I'm I'm kind of wondering what's gonna be. Uh, I, I mean, I ain't in a bad Shadow of Colossus, but I'm hoping it really isn't another Shadow of Colossus remake. We don't need another one. This is like the second or third one in a row we've had now. I'm gonna kick your ass. I'm gonna kick your ass, mate. Rip. Ripperone. Right, have I got my camo up? I'm not sure if this is camo or not. Yeah, I've got camo up. Is that trick anything in here worth taking? Like, are we actually going to find anything of value aside from duct tape? Which, surprisingly enough, I'm surprised it's as common as it is in this game. Seeing as it's a trope in like a lot of games, duct tapes is like super rare, do or be all kind of thing. No, they're dead. They're, those Zeds are dead. I'm assuming this wasn't actually a supply bunker, was it? This is actually a legitimate bunker where people were living. There's nothing else in here, I don't think. Oh, there's something next door, I think. I'm not sure. Wait, is that a door? No, yeah, maybe. Oh, what the hell is that? Apparently, there's something in the door. Oh, okay, the door's glitched on that one again. Don't look, can you please stop having glitchy doors, please? Please, for the love of God. At least not as bad as that crate from the quarantine zone. That really irked me, that did for like, the whole stream. Just because I wanted to see what was in it. I can actually hear something. I don't know if I can hear eating noises or just. If that's just the dripping water and ambient noises of this game. That's a st okay, there's storage at least. Okay, we need to find a way into storage then. It's gonna be in here. Nope, can't go for that. Wait, wait, is that like a vent or something I'm meant to crawl into? Because I know this game loves its crawling vent moments. It also does make me look a complete idiot at times. That could also just be on me. I don't know what I even did that for. Uh, we going through here? It has to be in there, isn't it? But it's glitched, I think. If that's glitched, I'm gonna be pay. Okay, that's the way we came in. This is this door. What is that? What is that? Look? Okay, it's just a floor plank. That's... Nothing to worry about, I don't think. And there's a brutal bastard sword again. Oh my god, it was right there. Right, 
Rest in peace, Raft. Isan, this is Crane. I'm in a supply bunker under the town hall. I think we hit the jackpot. That's great news, Crane. Thank you. Did you actually get that beat to help you? Yeah, but I had to kill him in the end. I totally understand. Okay, that's quite a few disaster relief pack. Oh, holy hell, if I was leveling up, this would actually be really nice, but I'm not anymore. Because I'm not grinding legend ranks out, because... I really just cannot be bothered with legend rank crap anymore. There's that more thing. Is... I thought I'm you said like, real bad expiry dates unusually. But whatever, it is people can stop for whatever they want. It's none of my business. Leave town hall fast as hell, boy. Uh, we need to do the outpost stuff, and I haven't done these. Yoink! Boink! Boink! I really enjoy how Dying Light has like very, like, not super in-depth stuff, but once you get good at the movement and stuff, you can basically just kind of just... You can feel yourself getting progressively better over time, like... I myself have felt myself getting progressively better at movement. Like I'm better at now judging jumps. It also helps with the fact movement abilities in this game actually really make the game play a lot more fun. Wait, where the, where the heck am I? Okay, I'm not here now. I'm actually going to open this, um, police van because that Zebra Machete kind of gave me hope that we could actually get, like, really decent stuff in it out of them. Like, it gave me hope that we could actually get decent gear from them. I mean, probably rarely, but, you know, there's a chance it, chance... I like say there's a chance to get good gear from it and like the time I decide to like actually be like Oh cool, could get you some decent gear from it The game's like, nah mate, you won't gain anything from us Okay, which, but, okay it's down here isn't it I can't if it's this one or the other one because I know there's like armed voice goons like on top of it or something And they made my life living hell yesterday That's nasty. <laughs> that is genuinely nasty, man. That guy's pulling up blood. That's rank. Is this how we went to actually get into like their base now or something? Or was it through? It's through here, isn't it? Yep. 
You're serving me well, shotgun. But I believe it is time to bring the advanced military rifle back out to play. Does everyone here spoken of military rifles? Because, of course they are. It's Royce's goons. They only know. Assault rifles. <sighs> I don't think it's current comparison people are having of like the whole Oh, if you complain about the price of like the PS5 coming up We spend a grand on phones every two years You really don't, I think I've had my current phone now For, I don't know where it is I mean, I can't even show you anywhere Because I haven't got a camera But you know what I mean, like I think mine was probably about 200 or something like like it wasn't like it was like probably the price of a PS4 currently and it's like not everyone drops a grand on phones you know so if like the PS4 has been like a grand or something or like 800 quid I'm probably just gonna go and ask to get parts for a PC instead and build a PC because at least then you know Because at least then, you know, we can actually, at least then I can actually, you know, uh, uh, have the actual benefits of not being able to run shit 60 FPS, because I would love to run down like 60 FPS, just to have that smooth combat experience. Oh no, I've done my radio session before, remember this one now. I like how legend levels, honestly, like, I wish they were, like, capped out 125 and you had to do stuff like, let me show you, like, this, where you had to pick and choose what you wanted. Or, like, like, 125, you know, and, like, that way you could have, like, no, like, let's say 126, that way you could just have, like, six of them. Um, or I don't know, it'd be like that, you know, like, so you'd only be able to have, like, how many of them got maxed out? So you could only have, like, five things maxed out instead of having, like, everything maxed out. Because I feel as if this at the moment kind of back to makes the game a lot more fun due to how legend ranks kind of dictate how you can play. Like, so if you put a load into guns, melee and stuff and range combat, you're going to be a lot more effective at range combat. But then you've also got your more jokey ones, like... And um, what's it called? Crap, what's it called? The other one? Unarmed stuff. Mercenary, that's actually not bad, I don't think. Keep on the point, we'll start putting mods on like legendary game. And... I wish I could modify guns out. That'd be really cool, that would. Look, put some like hollow sights on it, man. I hope Don't Look like, 2 actually does that, adds like a robust gun, gun upgrade system, like where you can like kind of add extended mags, you know, recoil dampening stocks and stuff. You know, just really like, you know, ramp up the upgrade system a lot more. My inventory is full of crap again, probably, isn't it?
Look, as I was saying about the phone comparison thing, it's not really comparable because, like, you know, not everyone spends a grand on a phone that's, like, unlimited everything. I mean, I only have, like, not many minutes on text and stuff because I never use my phone much. I just have it because, like, you know, it's modern day, you know, if you go out, you might need it, you know? You know, it's easy just to be like, you're out and about, so oh yeah, you know, I might be late back or something, you know. Like, I don't use it, like, as a secondary computer. Well, I mean, I listen to music and stuff on it, but that's it. I mean, as long as he has a headphone jack, I'm good. I wanted a place to put my SD cards in because... I don't like the I don't like the default fingers, like wallpapers you get on phones. They're just they're just really bad in my opinion. At least not in that era where you used to text and numbers and get like what is it, pay three fifty or something for like a real shitty ringtone that was like compressed to all fuck. <laughs> they're, they're the golden days of mobiles they were. Take cover, Crane! Crane, take cover! I actually have kind of grown to like the shooting parts of Dying Lies. Especially now that I've got my guns in Legend maxed out. Because it makes guns that gunfights actually feel deadly. Instead of me just dumping bullets into a sponge. I mean, Demolishers still feel spongy, but then again, I have a crossbow for them for that reason. I meant to do that, not actually, um... I mean, I decided to press R3, because I thought that was me, like, for some reason. My brain just... It, whenever I have a gun in a game, my brain initially just goes to... Okay, it's a first-person shooter now. N not, not like... A survivalish game. Oh, crap, I'm gonna die! Yeah, we cleared that one out. Give me a second, I go to the toilet.
Give me a second, let me put these back on properly. Give me a second. I'm back. Someone sent me a DM on Twitter, man. It was like the... It was like the single-handedly most cursed thing I've ever seen. I'm not playing the damn audio of the video because... No, I'm gonna look at copyright by someone or something. Let's just say, it was probably the best thing I've ever seen in my life. What time and game is it? Yeah, I wait till morning now. Give me a second. Uh, where the hell was? It? Where the hell was my Twitch tab? Uh, Hanston. No, don't do these game. I don't do those just a second. Office outpost. I right, change back to my shotgun. Oh wait, what? Do I change back to my shotgun before we went back into another outpost? Unless I'm scared of a demo, demo, demo man being up here. <laughs> it's probably been the most fun I've had in the game in like quite a while, to be honest. Like. 
But Dying Life is one of these games. I mean, I had fun with Dead Island when I played them, um, to be honest. But not as much fun as Dying Light. Dying Light just feels like a more polished. But a, like it feels like a more polished Dead Island. It, but also with higher production qualities and stuff. But it actually feels like what Dead Island wanted to not wanted to be but like you know what I mean like the whole like it actually has high production values now which are nice and it really shows and I'm glad Teclan could actually make you have a higher budget for this this is the first time we saw Teclan with a true big ass budget and I have, ho and I have hope for Don't Like to I mean, this community event might not be the greatest thing ever, but that's bored the game with free content drops. I mean, hell, we still get free skins and stuff just for participating and like. Look, hell, there's like, why is it like 10 in 12? Or, is that what, 10 in 12 or something? I mean, while I haven't really used. Well, I'm not really a fan of the Huan Prison Heist. That's still pretty cool. I gave us something like that for free. I mean, they also had like the following is even though it has a paid DLC it's more like an expansion in my opinion like I think I'll spend about 15 hours in now my first playthrough of it which is I mean I think if you had to buy it not with the following it's about I mean if you had to buy a following like if you bought if you bought like dying light like, then like like the normal edition of dying like then that I think it's like Um, it's 15 quid or something, but for that much, for that, how much it costs and how much you get in the game, that's actually good. There's a whole new map, new vehicles and vehicle tree, new weapons, you know, stuff like that, good stuff. I mean, cuisine and cargo, why, I think it's like four, nine, three or four, between three and five quid. I like it, to be honest, I, I like it. I mean, I mean, okay, I mean, at the time I couldn't understand why people wouldn't like the price point of it, but it's good. But, you know, I find it fun because it's more quarantine zones. Balls are cord. I'm not a fan of, to be fair. I mean, if you're a fan of Balls are cord, more power to you, to be fair. And I'm not, I'm not going to tell you what's good and what's bad, because, you know, I'm not a fan of Balls are cord. Personally, but I know some people are probably are fans of Bozak's Horde. I'm not, but then again, I'm not really. Then again, I'm just not really into like, the whole timed aspect of stuff. I like just being able to do my own thing, like this, and just, you know. You know, running around just capping dudes in the face. I did have to change the control scheme from like to change like it from aiming with R3 because that's just bizarre. But I can kind of understand because I'm not sure everyone really would press R3, you know, to want to keep lobbing shit at people. But I don't mind because I have it just for my grappling hook and flares, really, you know, stuff like that. Okay, where the hell are you, Chief? There you are. Thank you. Good night. Good night and good luck. I love that man.
Okay, now I've actually done this, so now we can actually just put these ones on the table for a while. And start focusing on the other quests we got, which are like... Higher Education! Not right, Higher Education, I'm gonna do Do You Believe? Shouldn't be seeing any more orange vests for a while. You did it. I'll tell everybody thank you. Oh yeah, Bloody Sony sent me an email earlier, right, about another trophies you're earning games and stuff. About like my trophies and stuff like September. Probably on a week a month's overall for trophies really, but I, I don't really care. They like literally use it now to try and shill games to you and it's like... And it's like Sony, can you not mate, like... It says, look, looking for an extra challenge. It has like games. It's kind of like Ghost Recon Breakpoint and shit. It's like, yeah, give me them macro transactions, chief. Look, look, Sony. I, 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 look, Sony. I don't bloody care. I only have the promotion tick box ticked because like once a year they tell me my total playtime of all my games, and because of um. Oh god, what's it called? It tells me there's like sales going on, like actual sales, not like new game. I don't care about new game releases, though. but like actual sales. It's like, oh yeah, seventy percent off on like the whole like you know, big in Japan, some stuff, you know, stuff like that. That's why I want off Sony when I have my email so offers ticked. Not trying to sell me games I don't care about. I mean, I wouldn't even mind like, if they're like recommended for you as even like any decent. Like it'd be like because you've played. I don't know what what's a game. What's a game I played like probably once or twice. I can't think of a game right. I want to say it was Borderlands Three. No, it wasn't Borderlands Three. It was before that thing. Oh, it was because you bought Super Neptunia Dim uh, no, is it Super Nep I bought or something? Something like that, it was when I bought that. Or because you put- no, was it now? Oh, was it now? Oh yeah, because I bought, um, apparently I bought Path of Exile. I, I didn't. I, I, I think I put in my, like, download just so I could download if I wanted to try it. It's not in my kind of- I don't know, I'll play Diablo 3. We ain't getting into Blizzard controversy today, by the way, I don't- it's not my business to talk about Blizzard controversy because I don't really know what the hell went on with it. I've just seen it all over like Twitter and stuff, and I don't really want to start taking sides because I don't understand anything about what's going on. 
I also don't understand. I also don't give two about half stone. The only. The only collectible card game I care about is Yu Gi Oh! And, and that's actually just because. And that's just because I like Yu Gi Oh! And that's just because some stupid decks people make, like, um. Oh, I was watching one earlier by Hard Leg, Hard Leg Joe, you know. There was, um. Oh, what was it? You know? Oh, goddamn. Ten new metal foes, and it was great. <laughs> Cause like somehow, because you wouldn't think like you. Thank you for what you did. But look, who just looks at a deck and goes, "Hmm, yes, metal foes, mostly normal." No, they all are normal monsters have pendulum effects, but they're not considered monsters at that point. I uh, get into mechanics of Yu-Gi-Oh. Just trying to explain this. But yeah, Tenyi, they have like probably, they have an effect monsters, but they work from the graveyard to protect your non effect monsters like Berserker. My love for you is like a truck. Berserker. You know, but all like the Katana Maiden, or the Draco or something. Right. Wait, is it Katana Maiden of a Draco or something? Something like that. Then again, you can watch out my favourite archetype is. And it's true Draco. Not because it's a scumbag archetype with Masterpiece involved. Just because I like the design of the Dracos. Like, I genuinely enjoy the design of the Draco cards. I also enjoy the design of Tenye cards. And that actually might play, I might actually pick up like Team Metal Falls as an actual deck because it actually looks like a good laugh. It's just like a, it's like the most simplistic beat down you could get. It's like I'm like Odd Eyes beat down. But I've, but I've kind of got sick of playing Odd Eyes, so I've played it for years at this point. That's why I wanted to look, play True Draco. I remember at one point I did play, used to play Zod, Zodi Wait, is it Zodiac or Zodiac? they called. I, I played the goddamn deck and I can't remember what the fuck they're called. You know, you know, you know. You know, but I'm not a furry arc toy. You, you know those those boys, me and the, me and the boys. You know those boys. I've also played them. Um, what's that other deck a lot? Oh, salad boys, as Father calls them. You know, Salomon Greats. You, you actually like Salomon Greats, Rip Kazev. But is it Kazev got hit or something? I don't know one of them got hit. And it's really weird. I know why you are here. No, you don't. Your nemesis awaits you. He has waited a long time. Uh, sounds like you've met him. He once sought my visions for his advantage, but I will not share my gift with such a man as him. With you, I will. How much will that cost? The price will be high, but your payment will not be to me. Now you will go to the river. There is a pungent nightshade that reveals itself only in the moonlight. The smolder of its embers enables the seeker to pierce the vein. All out, are we? Bring me several stalks of this plant. Maybe I will. In the meantime, you should shut off the music. It draws attention. Nothing enters that I do not wish. Now, I must prepare my mind. Well, there's also another one before, like it was like because you've played them. Um, I don't know, man. Sony, it's because you've played Mana, like they're weird. 
Oh, it's because I was just wondering, it's like, because you've played like, um, Senran Kagura, Burst Really Rule. Um, here's some games, and like, I think, like, Yakuza Zero showed up, and then it's like, Sony, what the hell's Yakuza got to do with my anime titty games, mate? Like, like, I mean, I guess there's, I, mean, I, I probably can see the overlap there because. I like Yakuza games already. I mean, yeah, I mean, I like, like, might, like, yeah, like Yakuza, Sony, but like, you don't go try, don't go try sell me, sell it to me when I've already got like, I mean, I've got zero. Or like, you want me on PS Plus, which I'm kind of glad because I could never find a physical copy of that. Then I have like the steel book version of Kiwami Two. I mean, like, Sony. I think I'd say I'm pretty big on Yakuza. I mean, I also have like a good chunk of trophies in all of them. Not the platinums, because because to be fair, Mo Yang Mahong, whatever it's called, shit ain't for me. Your herbs. Place the stalks in the brazier, and we will begin. Place the herbs in the brazier. Speak no more. The rising sun will lead you to the fountain of crying blood. Near the place where people are speaking tongues. You must follow the red trail to be enlightened. Under the deceitful number nine, the shadow of a self-proclaimed king will be waiting for you. The king with whom you shall have to fight. You'll find out who he is and what his weaknesses are. When the time comes, you will take his crown or die. I just have to wait till the daytime at this point because I really cannot. I really don't want to try and out and volatiles trying to do this because. Oh god, can we turn this music off please, game? <laughs> I've actually run out of grappling hook for a change. I actually wonder what, if like Sony will release one of their like, you know, re remasters of like The Last of Us 2 or some shit for PS4 here. B b because I didn't be like, what was it, The Last of Us? Oh, which is actually on PS Plus this month. I think I played the game once on PS3 when I was younger. I can't remember anything about it. The only things I remember are, it's got some like pseudo survival Looks false scarcity levels of BS going on in it. That role just killed himself. Thank you for that, Chief. Look, it just ain't my kind of survival thing. I mean, I wanted to try it again after I finished Dying Light, of course, because Dying Light's currently my favourite game I'm playing. I mean, then again, I ain't really playing anything aside from Dying Light. I'm not gonna ask how the hell somebody hang from a lamppost. Then again, this is dying light. I shouldn't probably question a lot of things in this game. That's gotta hurt. It's literally here. 
fountain of crying blood. Guess that's what that is. People speaking tongues. The hotel would have been full of foreigners. Oh yes, it's where you learn about rice and stuff, and like the fact that he was an actual GRE agent. If you didn't know that already. Set up. Yes, the deceitful nine must be a room number then. I think the deceitful nine basically means like. It's like just the number six, but upside down or something. I don't know. Oh, yeah, but where's that thing's behind us? You need that key to open it. See, look. Opens. Easy as that. I remember the first time I did this mission. Mm. I remember the first time I did this mission, man. I like spent like. I was picking all the key cards up. I have no intention of going into all of them, I just can't be asked to find. I can't remember which room it is, it's like one or something or two or something, I can't remember. It's something like that, it's it's weird. Why is that shot behind me? I didn't shred it game for a change. One or seven is the last room. So most of these rooms have nothing in them anyway. I mean, it's probably like collectibles and stuff, but... I really... don't care. See, look, look there's a note. Am I ever going to read these notes? Probably not, because... I've read them before my own time. Not really something I really wish to do again. You know. Oh, I remember now you have to go for like a hole or something in the ceiling or something. It's, it's very weird. This is, this hotel is very weird. V very weird design hotel. Which is why I think I grabbed all the key cards. Because I can't remember which one was which. Oh, because I do actually remember having to go through. Um. Nothing in that one. It was like a hole or something, wasn't it? In like a scene or something, I can't remember. It was very weird though, until that much now. And most of the doors don't even actually properly open. Open. What from was that? Is this one or something? Yeah, it is. Okay, one of them was the last room, which means for me, it's one thing with a hole or something. It felt very weird how you have to like actually get through this place. It it, it also aggravates me because it's like I forgot if it's a hole in the seal. Oh, it wasn't a hole in the seal. It was the elevator had to pry is open. The hell! I literally pry that motherfucker open game. They're they're gonna be alive in there right now. I can see it now. Oh, did I call that or did I fucking call it? Oh. 
Mm. There's nothing in these rooms, so it's just like undead. And that's it. Nothing of value, so. Deceitful nine, of course. Shoot this bad boy. See, look, here's all the stuff here. See, look. I run old town, so look, here's confidential stuff. Is this is like actually voices room before the outbreak? Can't wait, there's a voice crate in here. I mean, I guess it's just because players would know you can open voice crates and you know it screams openness to proceed. This was Rice's room. He must have set up shop here when the epidemic first began. Time to now go do uh the fountain. I'm probably gonna leave gunsmith after we've done fountain because I like gunsmith questline a lot. I I kinda dislike the fountain stuff, it just annoys me to no end. Oh, there's three moons restaurant. Why is not cuisine and cargo? Much check. Three moons restaurant. Yeah, I'm gonna check my guide quickly. Cause I'm coming for some one volatiles in. Cause there's volatiles in like all kinds of stuff. No, it's just like a normal quarantine zone. I'm gonna do it though. Heck it. I have like no hope for like I honestly have like no hope for like Elder Scrolls 6 at this point especially after Bethesda are going I mean granted Bethesda always probably been like this you know but people are just idiots like horse armor remember horse armor controversy like back in 2006 I actually I actually only remember about horse armor because it used to be in this game magazine I used to read when I was younger. And by read, I mean, I used to look at pictures usually. And just read what looked interesting. But I remember it being like this massive, like, controversy about how long, like, what was it, like, I think it's like £2.50 or something for, like, just the equivalent of basically shit. I remember I got the Game of the Year edition of Oblivion. That was actually fun. I mean, I remember using horse armor in that. I, I saw no difference for it. I also saw it as it customized my horse's look. And, and to me, that was like the coolest shit ever. And to be fair, I would probably, if I was a kid and I had access to the internet at the time, I would probably have paid for money for that. I would have honestly paid money for it because, you know, 
it, it's horse armor. It, it's a it's a cool gimmick. <laughs> Pools closed due to electricity. Oh god, that's oh god. I'm gonna have a hotel, man. I don't know what I'm going to have a hotel for. Look, that has nothing to do with this, but it just, it just, for some reason it just reminds me of that, the whole, look, when I said pool's closed, it just, like, it... Okay, he's undead. I could just clip to my brain. Pool's closed. He just clicked in my head, pool's closed, have a hotel deal. Uh, I gotta admit, one part of me sees it as being like just, it's just right out of fence. <laughs> but the other side of me also is like, what what kind of madman decide to go and raid a children's game? And that's the funny part to me, the fact that it's like, who the hell does this? Like who just thinks to himself, hmm, yes, I'll go raid a children's game and spam pools closed due to AIDS. Look, who, who does this kind of stuff? But then again, I'm easily amused, to be honest. I'll, I'll find most things funny. But it like, depends on what it is, to be fair, the context of what I find funny. I've seen this one in my... I heard like a massive crashing noise. Oh, just you. Oh, just a few of them actually. Okay, I'll go and make this place actually kind of has a horror vibe to it now. Like it was a bit creepy when I first came in, it was just like dead quiet. Now... Now this is actually like really nailing it now. Now the TV just turned on just like grey. I mean yeah it's a cliche of horror and stuff but that's just grey. Like, I wasn't expecting that. Like the whole crash of the zombies just. I was expecting oh it's going to be a demolisher or something isn't it in here. And it's going to be like some cheap unfair difficulty spike. No it was just zombies but it's playing. But it was just playing on the fact that most people would relate. Loud crash. That's a demolisher. Because at this point you've probably fought a few of them. Except if you play the following. Wait, my look for finding demolishers is about... Uh, oh, oh, you're just trying to chill and loot stuff. Yeah, here's a demolisher. Oh, you're driving along. Here's a demolisher on the road. But not goons. Demolishers, though. Demolishers, I don't like them. Remember I said we weren't going to use a crowbar because I look bad. I'm 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 kind of chatting it to be fair because that actually looks coolish in a bit. Look, it just reminds me of Half Life. I got this player as a kid, and by play Half Life, I mean it used to be more like I used to get to the part where you got um, to the staff room. And you'd like... What was it now? You'd go to the staff room. Oh god, what was it now? It was the... Oh god, what was it? I can't remember. Is somebody in the staff room? Or something? And the guy used to go, Good god, god, and what do you think you're doing? And it used to make me laugh all the time. Come on, she used to probably take you about 20 minutes to get there. And they used to keep restarting the game every time I played it, just to keep doing that. For like hours. It was like. I, I don't know what was amusing about it. I mean, it's still funny to me now. 
Like, it's just one of those things that it's like always to me anyway, it's always just gonna be like always the most amusing thing ever, and it's always wrong to remember like Half Life 4. The good god man, what do you think you're doing, Lion? It's gonna be a jump scare in the toilet, isn't there? I, I knew it! I knew the toilet was gonna have a jump scare! I just... I just knew this place was gonna have a jump scare. It had to have had one. And it had to be one of the most generic ones you can get. And that... The only time I've ever got scared by a jump scare scam is probably in the school the first time. And that was when I walked into one of the bathrooms and it was like... Oh, of course, a bathroom here. There's probably loot in here, isn't there? Turn around, look in a store, like thinking, oh, this guy's probably dead. No, he wasn't. It was a zombie. It actually got me good, to be honest. Okay, we've been down here. Uh, what have I got my gun out for? I don't need that. It's gonna end my stealth for something. Okay, there's the other ones up here, aren't there? Or is it down there or something? No, let me on. Oh, it's through here. It, I think. Where is it up here? That's a screamer. There's a screamer, I'm telling you now. What the? I don't know if man screamers always just get to me in this game. Like they like unnerve me. But not scare me, it's just like unnerve. No it gets something gets under your skin. It like makes my skin crawl they do. I'll be back in a second. Let me go to the toilet quickly. I'm back at last. I'm back. Going not yet. No. No. Yes. There. Thank you. Yes, I need to see which one's which. I know look like, some of these are from like um the slums. I need to check which ones work. Okay, apparently parking lot is apparently one for here as well. Uh but it is old town which is broken with a new Antelayer apartments. <laughs> I actually really feel this quarantine zone is actually good. Like, not too combat heavy, but... It's good. I, I like it. 
Look, I don't always like combat heavy things in this game. Look, I like the fact that it actually got me unnerved with how eerie and quiet it is when you first go in. Instead of it being like, okay, then here's like five zombies in a room, go ham. Look, look, Techland have got, look, Techland know what they're doing, I, I think. I honestly still don't know if it's true about the whole um, PS4 5 being um, compatible with um, Oh here's a gas tank demolisher I gotta admit, I actually like those, to be fair. I saved your life, give me, give me something. Are you gave me 200 bucks. I was hoping for, for a weapon mod. But... But hey, it's okay. It's a thought that count. Not really, I wanted a weapon mod. I'm not fighting Goon Island. Hello. <laughs> I don't think I'm in streaming for today anyway. I mean, I don't think I've stopped. Uh, probably soonish, because I gotta have something to eat probably soon. Yeah, I do. Y you know, I gotta eat and stuff. But I'm amazed in about a month of streamed out 20 hours, and to be honest, I haven't even really taken it too, too seriously. I've started playing Dying Light on New Game Plus. Because I actually enjoy this. Because I don't have attention of someone watching me, you know, first time on a game. It's like a game I know at this point. I mean, look, I'll just generally have fun doing this. It's just fun, just getting to ramble about random stuff that comes to my mind, you know. I mean, yeah, I probably don't talk about most interesting stuff, and I'm probably, you know, but, you know, it's fun just to talk about, you know, I mean, you know, I mean, also just enjoy, you know, showing off, you know, the f not like pro player skills, you know, but just, you know, somebody playing a video game. This, is, this place feels kind of creepy as well. I don't know, is Old Town feel like the quarantine zone's in Old Town so far? It's starting to feel a lot more creepier. 
Wait, not the slums. I found the slums ones a lot more actiony, and like a lot more heavily focused on com combat. But I ain't against this kind of more whole whole kind of holy based tones, you know. That looks ungodly ugly. That looks like. This shows like a very search around one. Well, I don't really mind that. Oh, is that me? That's this one. Yep. I knew that was one of those ones you had to push. I honestly have no regrets of smashing somebody's TV up in their apartment. The Lon basically just did some B&E to get into. Oh, it's leads in there. That's weird, but cool at the same time. Uh. I actually missed I find a disaster relief package in like a fridge. I checked my stats last night, I've had about 90 odd deaths. Like 98 deaths, I think I'm seeing like 98 deaths in total in about 69 hours. Well 69 and a half hours it was. But, but you know saying 69 is funnier. Name I don't know what this music is, like a Bioshocky vibe. Which is very weird to think about. No, let me do this. Thank you. I think the ends in about an hour or something. I'm not really sure. 
I think it's only like 5 p.m. for me on like the whenever it started. I can't remember when it started now. There's a little shit. Check my more packages. Move forward, pick up my package, man. Dark sickle, how much? Twenty-two face seven. Annoying. Goodbye, dark sickle. Okay, what the hell? They were dead about five seconds ago. I'm going to take that because that's more damage than that sickle did. Which is why I broke that sickle down because. What's that? Power cable. Oh, cool. Because in general, mostly. Um, I does mean of a GRE package in here. I'm highly doubting it at this point, but whatever. Oh, there's a the camouflage button. I could literally splat on screen for me, and I'd probably just, you know. Not even actually pay attention. Uh, nuts. Okay. That's anything in here value to it? No. Uh, camouflage up again. Kind of relief package, which is nice, I guess. Okay, more electronics. That's I'm kind of tempted just to put this on nightmare mode eventually, and just turn in all of the like the packages we get. Just to see how high that would boost us, if anything, if even level us up at all. There won't really be much of a point to it, it'd just be fun to do that. At least in my opinion, it'd be fun. Just to see how high it boosts us, because we've got. I don't have any packages at this point. I'll check. I just had one on for the one we're gonna pick up in a minute, probably. Let's have a check. How many we got? We got like ten kings up there, so that's nice. How many we got? And you have got game, like how many have we got you? Seventy two. Uh, we have like seventy three packages. Which Honestly ain't that bad, to be honest. The swing right for the legs. Okay, it isn't actually in here either. Oh, it's gonna make me go up another floor, isn't it? You're making me go up a floor game. And I don't want to go up another floor. I was hoping this would be it. I 
I don't want to face the music. Okay, there's zombies behind this door. I heard them. This is a GRE chest in here. Never actually got anything better than a blue out of one of these, I don't think. No, I think I got a purple a few times. Never a legendary or a gold or anything. Then again, you can't get golds on them. Um, what's it called, can't you? Legend. No, nightmare difficulty. Isn't you look rank 25 or something, isn't it? Let's get some money out of it. My time even is it in game now? I guess like 12 in the afternoon in game. It's at midday. That off tune piano is really unnerving me now a bit. Oh, for us plastic, not food. But plastic is food to Crane probably, because Crane's an idiot at times. It takes him until I think a good chunk into the main story for him to actually notice that. That the GOE are actually just evil. But it's a GOE chest. This ain't all too. This ain't that bad. How many GOE chests even is doing here? Because that's actually a few now. I mean, if I still was going for loot, I'd probably want like stuff turtle because that's faster. Because it sort of takes a few minutes, if that. So you swing in there, pop, 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 grab three relief packages, pop out back, kill those guys, camo up. I would say I'd show you, but I mean, I really can't be able to go back to the slums at this moment. Brawler, I think that's handling, isn't it? I'm not sure. Probably is handling. I wish the lock on this dictated what you got in the stuff like a hard would give you purple stuff. Well like a very hard would give you like legendaries of the highest tier or at the lowest you'd get like a purple. You know, stuff like that. We need mate especially in like quarantine zones and stuff. We're like you're probably going for loot and supplies and stuff. Mainly just for loot though, because you get like the drop packages. <laughs> this screen, okay, I can see it in there. I can't tell how many um, fingers are actually in here, if, that, if anything. <laughs> oh cool, it's done.
13 in exclusive. It's like the parking lot, which is just basically a kill all moment. It, yeah, there it is, parking lot. It's just a. It, parking lot's just a massive, like, kill all kind of deal. But I kind of like those kill all missions just because they're fun. They're just good, mindless fun. Especially if you like, unlimited stamina and stuff. I mean, I know Nightmare takes that away from me, which is. I don't know, I like that, but I also don't like it. Because weapons are so degrade about. I think it's like twice as fast. They degrade or something like that. Like, it's faster. But like weapons degrade faster on Nightmare, and I'm not really a fan of that. Personally. I'm just perfect from, like, having enemies be tougher, more viable, you know, things like that. You know, just stuff like that. No. No, okay, it's not even openable. I guess there's a uh, ambulance down here. And that guy's head just got turned to mush somehow. Even though this is. I actually think camouflage makes this quite relatively easy when I like it. Especially when it comes to lock picking stuff. Because lock picking's kind of a bit random. Oh, I already opened this one, I think. Yeah, I did, I must have. See that Sergeant Death Row there? See the one with the... See on the SWAT helmet, I said Death Sergeant Death Row. And I don't like the fact he's in old town, it pisses me off. That's kind of morbid. Look, some of these murals are kind of morbid. Some are actually pretty fun. Like, um... I forgot which one it is now. One's like really funny. Oh, see. No, I forgot. Don't be like sound of his adaptive triggers. Look, something about adaptive triggers to me. Like, just sounds weird. It's like. Like, I can already see how weapon feels different to something else by visual. By, like, actual visual feedback kind of deal. You know, don't we need like some triggers to be like, okay, and this is a shotgun, this is a machine gun. That's not the greatest thing just to see when you want me to walk in. Right, just walk right into the quarantine zone. Well, hey, massive explosion. Okay, let's go. Clear the nest. This 
This is underground parking again. When it says a parking lot, I thought it was gonna be like a parking lot with little gun walls around it, not. This one got to find the damn GRE packages. I mean, disaster relief packages. Hey, one of them get me goes. That's actually nice. Uh, I don't really want a brick game. Like, what am I gonna do? With a brick? Look, I'm just gonna like lob it at someone or something. I'm gonna probably finish looting these guys off because you know they ha they can have coffee and stuff and gores and things I can sell for money and but also things that actually help me survive longer and there's plastic in there which is nice I like plastic I hear a goon I don't want to really go fight the goon because I'm too much of a coward at times. We also don't really want to try and like fight like a whole horde of enemies. Okay, that hasn't exploded. I should have realised that, but no, I didn't, did I? Okay, this thing's gone. I don't know how many repairs are out of this now. I've won like loads of repairs out of this now, and it's like really weird. Could you use that skill that has a chance for me? It never works half the time. And by half time I should probably say it never works mostly. But it when it does work, it works like that. It just keeps giving me like free repair look I mean like no loss on the repairs. Which honestly makes my supplies feel like they go a long way more. Don't hit me goon. Do not hit me please. And he hit me. the hell what in the goddamn even hit me look 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 straight up what what even hit me oh and it respawns me right in front of them B beautiful game B beautiful i'll just shoot them now I still don't get what blew up behind me. There's like no bow there or anything I can see. Unless there was beforehand, I just didn't notice it was there. Damn, no one wants a katana though. Look. I'm better than for these to despawn a bit and just you know come back and just grab the stuff once they've despawned and do this and just grab the stuff like that because it's a lot easier than actually wading into fire what all dead no there's exploders still Nice, there's a lot of GOE chests here. Oh, yeah, I thought I'm just gonna also drop cigarettes, which are worth money. 
worth about $61 or something like that.
back talking to my mum about stuff and let's get a drink we're back Can I open this door? No. What's off the parking lot? Oh, strip Dragon Hotels next. Is that it? That, yeah, strip down. Okay. Oh man, I saw a post about No Man's Sky. It's like one of those things, it's like. Like, okay, I can understand, like, the. I, I like it for what I played of it. It was fun just dicking around in space, flying around, you know. But that's it. It's just all RNG shite. I'd rather a game like No Man's Sky come out. Right, I think there is something like that kind of way, like there's like actual planets and stuff. But it's like, you also like massive trading and stuff. And like black market trading and stuff. I can't remember the game's called now. But, yeah, something like that, but on like a scope not the size of a shoestring, like an actual like big dev team does something like that, you know. Or has a bigger budget, you know, not 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 no man's fucking sky bollocks. Like RNG is is boring. You you see you see some at once. You've seen everything pretty much, especially with no man's sky. Give me a second. I need to look at something quickly. I, I honestly think stuff like No Man's Sky was like just, I don't know. I think I paid like 10 quid for it in a sale or something. Like something like that, I can't remember the exact price. It wasn't that much. I mean, I got about probably 30 ish hours out of it, dicking around. It was, oh, I guess. I mean, I won't go and say buy it, I mean. To be fair, I mean, after three hours it got boring, and before that I only enjoyed it because of the space shit I was doing. And, th and that was fun just because I was attacking just anything I saw, and I was in creative mode just so I could, like, just, you know, actually not have to contend with fuel limitations and stuff. Because outside of that, it's just a massive grind, but there's, like, no end game goal. Like, stuff like. Oh no, what's a good survival game I play? Okay, I don't really play many survival games, like... I mean, okay, I do and I don't, like... Okay, look, one of the things I'll show is, like, Seven Days to Do, okay, yeah, it's grindy as all motherfucking tits, that game is, but... The game also has an end game, in a sense. Well, look, not an end game, end game, but, like, there's an end goal, you know. Like, build an actual base, you can just withstand, like, you know, horde nights, you know, without... You having to actually, like, you know, 
physically do everything yourself you know and get like higher production up and stuff in that game no man's sky feels like okay and here's your endless grind towards some bullshit that's not even interesting I mean, but, but because of the RNG nature and just the sheer scope of like the planet size, it, it's boring. Like I'd prefer it be a more handcrafted galaxy of like, okay, and this planet's like a, like a massive ass desert, but with arid wastes and stuff. Love like. I don't know. Look, they have like some space age, the equivalent of shale, but space age of, in like, because they have that much of it, you can just buy it on the cheap, but you can sell water there really, like, well off. You know, and I'd also wish there's like actual, like, ex, like, more just stuff to do in the game, like, a dedicated, like, system for everything that isn't just feels like bare bones. Well, I haven't played the recent update because I genuinely just can't be asked to do it because everything I've seen about Beyond is just like looks like it's more of the same really but just even grindier Piss me off, and people go to like stores to trade this stuff, and they're like complaining about getting bad prices. And it's like, what do you trade? And like, they're trading like one or two games, and it's like, well, yeah, you ain't gonna get much like a few things. I mean, like, look, like, whenever I trade stuff in, I trade stuff in by like probably like five, six things at a time, you know, you know, so I can try and get as much money as I can, you know. Then even if I don't spend it that time, I have it just there sitting there when I, you know, look, so I can just use it some other time as well. I mean, look, I honestly like physical stuff because I can trade it in if I don't like the game and stuff. And because even if I play, love a game and played it, be like something like I don't know. There has gone. I was never gonna play that again after I finished it. You know, I tried that in. You know, I've got some money for you know. Use that money towards. Uh... Oh God, what was that game now? Oh, DMC Five. Love that game. That's why I like physical games for, because I can just trade them in. You know, get money for stuff I want. It also lets you get pre owned games, and a lot of times I've got real good deals on pre owned games. Especially like around Christmassy usually like a lot of times I've had like really good deals like free for two and stuff and stuff on pre-owned games which are actually really great. Oh, twenty fourteen. That's not bad. Is it? Yeah. What's that? Twenty-two sixty or something, isn't it? Yeah, twenty-two six two. Yeah, Dark Machine can go now. That's that's pretty trash. 
But that's coming reverse, bro. I think it's like the last quarantine zone in the game this is now, for like what we got. I was kind of hoping Old Town had a bit, m few more quarantine zones to it. Seeing as the stadium was ground zero for the infection. But you know. I think the probably, you know, most people probably ain't going to get to the second half of the game. So best give it most people the good stuff from the first part. I'm not saying the second half is bad, I just wish there was more to do. Do like like quarantine zone warriors because of it all just generic buildings in a sense. Like they've all just been the same. Remember for some the, the hotel which actually looked different due to its layout actually being something interesting. We have so far just been like underground parking but without volatiles and towers. Like just go up the stairs. Find stuff, go up the stairs, find stuff. Y you know. The only thing truly interesting, like, I've found in like, the supermarket, like, stuffed turtle. Yes, you can speed run it easily. But I find it interesting because it's, like, very much about the traversal of the. Uh, of the. Uh, more so than the like actual oh there's there's that's the leaf package I'd have walked off about that Go up here, I think. Now, not sure where because there's no where the game specify. Oh, there's that there. Oh no, we have to go down there, don't we? Yeah. I just wish like this the uh, old town had a bit more to it, like stuff to do, like side activities. But oh the damn Bolzac things, because I don't really give a two about those. I'm not quarantine zones like actual instance like activities like this. Like I mean you know, because I actually enjoy these the fun. Even though they just basically just go here, find thing. It's still fun because of that, I find. Wait, what? I don't know what I explode, it's just because when I stop I just explode. Like, that's what I explode when I remember bridge and stuff, even if you're not near them. Kind of annoying I do that, but... Mm, you know... There it is, the corner. Oh. 
There's another one. Open this. Yeah, it's got a trophy trespassing. Yeah, that was all of them then. No, I'm not even going for the trophy. I'm just going for like, the over quarantine zone just to show them off because I seem like a good laugh. Probably I'm just gonna get out of dodge zone now because, like, after this GRHS, I just want to kind of try carry on doing more of the stuff, like actual stuff, like actual some more mission mission stuff, like the the fountain one because I don't really like that and I want to get down that road. I'm gonna ask what the hell that is or was that pile of stuff there. I'm going to today's stream off here because yeah I want to mm, watch YouTube for a bit and just relax then I come back and do part 10 later so stay safe out there tune in later for more Dying Light and I don't know